right body down There ain't no grave can hold my body down Good cold evening, gentlemen. Amongst your inventory, I've been led to believe it's a specimen I'm keen to acquire. When I hear the trumpet sound, what's your name? I'm on a rise right out of the ground. Django. And you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Hey. Yo, man. Pull your pants up, bitch radio. In the house once again. Man, I gotta talk about. The Django again. I didn't do my first review justice, so I seen Django again, so I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth in this review this time. So bear with me. First off, I wanna start off with Samuel L. Jackson. I gave him credit I gave him a little bit too much credit in my first review. He don't, he don't deserve an Oscar. Matter of fact, he wasn't even that good in this movie. The movie was great once again. Like I said, it it, it uh, made me want to watch it again. And I did watch it again. So it was great. It was still great the second time around. Didn't seem long. Didn't seem like two hours and 45 minutes. But uh, like I said, Samuel L. Jackson. I think he did an okay job in this movie. But he doesn't deserve an Oscar at all. Even though he may get an Oscar, he don't deserve it. Just like Halle Berry didn't deserve that Oscar she got in uh, Monsters Ball. If they give... Samuel L. the Oscar is because this is a hyped up movie and it's Samuel's time. They want to recognize Samuel, okay? And this critic and, and this highly crit, uh highly controversial movie. But he don't deserve an Oscar. I'm telling you right now. I feel his character was I feel he he wasn't really that believable. I feel his character overacted like his character like tried too hard to be an Uncle Tom. I mean, he was overdoing it in, in a way that didn't come off authentic to me. All that cursing, you know, it just it, it didn't come off authentic. All the sh the head shaking, the 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 heavily the heavy makeup, it, it just seems so fake. I mean, you don't have to put that much makeup. He didn't look authentic. He didn't come off as authentic, and his makeup looked ridiculous. It looked phony on his face. They tried to make Sammy J L L look like an old man, but they did. They didn't pull that off too well. Um, he started off when you know when when we first see Samuel L. When Samuel Samuel L. makes his debut on screen, you know he he starts off cussing. Who that? What what that nigga doing up on that horse? You know all that lame. It it was just lame. And he was cuss. He was kind of being belligerent to his uh, to Leonardo a little bit. He was being. He was being an Uncle Tom and at the, he was being a smart ass. At the same time, he was bowing down to Leonardo, but at the same time, he was being a smart ass to Leonardo at the same time. Leonardo was supposed to be like his master or something. I don't know. His boss, his boss, his big boss. But uh, clearly, he was comfortable with, you know, Leonardo to talk, talk to him that way, but. At the same time, he was Uncle Tom and like a motherfucker to Leonardo. And it just didn't come off authentic. I'm going to tell y'all something. Roots blow this fucking movie away. Now, Roots, the people that deserve Oscars in Root was Lou Gossip Jr. That lady that played Kenzie. And uh, the man that played Toby. 
I forgot his real name. But the whole fucking cast of Roots just blow this fucking uh, the Django cast away. Fucking every actor on Roots deserves an Oscar. Almost. Samuel L. couldn't hold a candle to, to, Lou, to Lou Gossip Jr. I'm telling you right now. You, you you take Lou Lou Gossip Jr. performance in Roots and compare it to Samuel L. Jackson's performance in uh, the Django, and Samuel L. is like a preschool preschooler going up against the NBA player. That's how that's how big a difference it was. It was in uh, in a sense of in a sense of of skill and delivery so Samuel L. Jackson's uh, character like I said wasn't really it was he was kind of buffoonish he overdid his parts and just didn't come off as authentic okay over the top I, I'll put it that way Samuel L. was really over the top man And he kind of knew too much before really knowing. But anyway, Jamie Fox, I still feel the same way about him. He was okay. He was just the hero at the end of the day. But it wasn't a love. Jamie Fox, I saw. I saw in an interview he was saying it was a love story. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a love story. It was all about again revenge it was all about uh blood guts and glory that's what the film was all about blood guts and glory wasn't no fucking love story really the lady hardly said anything the one that Jamie Foxx was saving she had a very small role she hardly said anything uh, the one that stick out to me I told you Leonardo DiCaprio deserves an Oscar he really deserves an Oscar. That boy acted his ass off. I never saw Leonardo in that light. I didn't know Leonardo could act like that. Could change his uh, accent like that. And could pull off all those, you know, could pull off that character. Leonardo was really, was like a Denzel in this movie. He was like, you know how Denzel, I love Denzel because Denzel transformed into the character he's portraying on film and that's what uh, Leonardo DiCaprio pulled off in this movie and he did it perfectly he didn't overact it was like fine art watching Leonardo DiCaprio work that, that was truly an art and the other guy, the other white guy deserves an Oscar as well, I mean these guys are real believable characters that you are you just you can't get enough of they're real deep their characters are real rich and deep and I like that about that about them about this movie those two really made the movie um, and, and the movie was a lot of parts was fucking stupid the clan scene that was fucking stupid they they could they could have just left that shit out. I didn't like that shit was dumb. I don't I don't I don't uh, agree with them making fun of the clan because these motherfuckers was hanging and killing black people left and right. So I don't find the clan funny. I don't find laughing at the clan. I don't find nothing funny about the clan. Period. So that was just dumb to make fun of the clan. Uh. Don Johnson in the movie, he was okay. Don Johnson was okay. Nothing really stands out about him. The slaves in the movie, the people, the slaves in the movie uh, really didn't do too much. Oh yeah, the fighting scene, 
the fighting scene that they could have left that shit out that was the dumbest fighting scene and it was the longest fighting scene ever it was the most gruesome brutal awful I just I wish I could skip that part if I could fast forward a part of the movie it would be that clan scene and that fighting scene where where uh, the Django where I'm sorry where the D is silent where Django is first introduced to Leonardo DiCaprio uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is sitting on the couch and he's watching two slaves fight to the death that was a they, they, they should have just edited that shit out because that shit was dumb I didn't like it it was too brutal it was too it was just too much screaming too much noise fight was kinda I don't know it looked like wrestling it looked like WWE wrestling that was, that, it looked dumb I didn't like that um what else I didn't like the way the movie well I liked the way it ended but there should have been more time with there should have been more dialogue between Jamie and his woman Django and his woman I meant they, they should have been they should have had more dialogue should have been more of a story about them should have been more of a backstory about her you don't really get the you don't really feel like you really know her you don't really feel like you know Django really too too you don't really feel like you know Django or her it's all about just getting uh finding her and shooting and killing people the premise of being a, the premise of the bounty hunter uh it was okay could they have made a better premise than making it about making it about bunny bounty hunting yeah probably so but uh that was okay the bounty hunter premise which is the reason uh the white guy Jamie Foxx's friend and him Django's friend and him the reason they get together because uh the bounty hunter needs Django's help and finding uh, some people wanted dead or alive. I didn't. I, 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 I didn't know they had bounty hunters back in there. I guess they did though. But what else? Uh, Jamie did do a great. Uh, he he did do a great job in this movie as far as transforming himself from a slave into pretending to be something else a slaver and telling the slaves don't eyeball me and all that he did a great job in that but we really we really never saw Jamie being a slave at all in this movie you never saw him really you, you never saw how far his acting skills could go in this movie in this movie because you never saw him act as a slave really you didn't see it you always saw him act as a free man and talk as a free man and so but this movie's probably gonna get a lot of awards um it was great like I said it was good Quentin Tarantino yeah he, he probably he uses the, the he, he says nigger in his scripts a lot I can understand him using it in this movie but in other movies it's not really called for and I think he uses it to spark up some type of controversy though he may have some hate in his heart for black folks he may have some hate. he may have some resentment against black people because you just don't say the imp. you just don't say nigger in your scripts like that when it's really not called for 
So he may have some resentment against black folks. I can see that. But that's it. That's been my second review of, of this movie, Django, man. Uh, the end scene was awesome. They played the Tupac song. When I get high, I, I want to get it on till I die. <laughs> I ain't never heard that pop song before. I want to get it on till I die. Matter of fact, I'm finna play it now. I'm finna let y'all hear the pop song they played in this movie. Get it on till I die. I didn't know they. I I, I didn't I didn't even know Park uh, had this song. Mm -hmm. That ain't the same fucking version. That's some dumb shit. That ain't gon' they ain't got the fucking version on here, man, but get it on till I die. Tupac. They played that song in his movie. And I can't see it on his end. It's not on YouTube. But that's it. Peace.